one one issue that always boggles my mind is that the idea that a gun is a defensive weapon that is a myth a gun is not a defensive weapon a gun is an offensive weapon used to intimidate and you used to show power police officers do not carry a gun as a defensive weapon to defend themselves or their other officers they carry a gun to be able to to do their uh, job in a safe and effective manner and, and face any oppositions that we may come upon. Chief James claims it is a myth that guns have a defensive purpose. He says that police officers do not carry a gun as a defensive weapon and further explicitly states that they are carried by officers for offensive use only, that they use them to intimidate and to show power. Does anybody else find this frightening? My personal thoughts on police officers, civilians, and weapons in this context are as follows. One cannot claim that patrol officers have a reason to carry weapons that civilians do not. Officers do not operate in a theater of war. Notwithstanding what Chief James said, which is something I've never heard a police officer claim before, patrol officers carry weapons for defensive purposes only, to protect themselves from the exact same criminal elements that the citizens need to protect themselves from as well. Nothing a patrol officer encounters on the street is different in any way from what we may encounter on the street or breaking into our homes. If an AR-15 is suitable for an officer to use in their defense and in the defense of innocence, then it is suitable for a civilian to own and use as well. In fact, the weapons, magazines, and ammunition carried by police should serve as a prime example of exactly what weapons should be owned by civilians. Much thought and testing has gone into the choice of sidearms, long guns, and ancillary parts, which means magazines, ammunition, etc., for police use to maximize both efficacy and safety. For example, hollow point bullets, which do not overpenetrate. Bottom line if it is deemed necessary for a police officer to have a pistol with a 17 round capacity to defend him or herself, then me, a citizen without the benefit of backup or body armor most definitely should enjoy that same option to protect my home and my family from the exact same criminals that the police face. Many claim that the only purpose of high capacity magazines and AR-15 style rifles is to kill as many people as possible as quickly as possible. Is that then why the police have them? Maybe Chief James would say yes. The Supreme Court's Heller decision, which cited previous Supreme Court decisions in its ruling, stated that the Second Amendment specifically protects firearms that are in common use and that are suitable for militia use. Again, our police departments serve as an ideal example for the types of weapons and related parts that are protected for ownership by the people under either or both of these qualifiers. Nearly every department in the country issues or provides access to AR-15 style rifles with their standard capacity 30 round magazines for use by patrol officers. The next time you see a police car parked on the side of the street, look through the window. There's probably going to be an AR-15 by the center console. AR-15s have been the most popular style of rifles purchased by civilians in the U.S. by a huge margin for many years running. The number currently in private hands in the U.S. is approaching 4 million they define in common use. They also define suitable for militia use. So too do semi-automatic pistols with their standard capacity magazines ranging from 12 to 19 rounds. Pistols like these have been outselling revolvers by a massive margin for decades and practically no police department in the country issues or even allows officers to carry revolvers. Again, as the public must defend themselves, their families, and their homes, without the benefit of backup and body armor, yet face the exact same types of threats that officers do from the same types of criminals that officers do, it makes perfect sense that any firearm and ancillary accessory that the police are allowed to carry should also be allowed for civilian ownership and use. Heck, considering what Newsweek said, that law-abiding American citizens using guns in self-defense, this is in 2003, shot and killed two and a half times as many criminals as police did, but did so with fewer than one-fifth as many incidents as police where an innocent person was mistakenly identified as a criminal. That's 2% versus 11%. Maybe citizens aren't the ones who need to be restricted.